Why do you have a time back for six books in isolation? And it's the latest by Lindsay Kilk. One in a million, okay, the really top ten Sunday Times best selling author. Now, I like Lindsay Kilk. I've actually met Lindsay Kilk years ago. She did an event with um, Marie Claire at the Bluefin Building in London. And Lindsay is really, really nice. I absolutely love her work, okay? So, and this book was published, it's very, very recent. Hey, 2018, okay? So, I read the blurb. It's quite a long one, so I'm going to keep it short. Annie Higgins has given up on love. She's too busy trying to get her tiny business off the ground. Infuriated by the advertising agency across the hall making fun of her job, Annie accepts a crazy challenge to make a random stranger Instagram famous in just 30 days. And when they choose Dr. Samuel Page, PhD, historian and hater of social media as her target, Annie's determined to win the bet, whether Sam likes it or not. But getting to know Sam is getting to know more about herself. And before the 30 days are out, Annie has to make a decision about what's really important. So this is a retelling of My Fair Lady, the famous, um, well, famous play Pygmalion, which was then turned into the um, famous show, which originally starred um, Judy Andrews. She's the original Liza Doolittle. And then they turned it to a film, which was then Audrey Hepburn. Okay? Yes. So, but I know the story of My Fair Lady quite well. And... Uh, yeah, it's a quite a quite a good story about Eliza Doolittle and obviously um, Annie Higgins or oh, Professor Higgins because he's played by Rex Harrison. And I so I recognised it was my fellow lady quite quickly, taking this random stranger and basically turning her Instagram famous. Now this was quite interesting for me as a place of understanding because I am actually I am on Instagram. I never posted anything at all. Okay, it I I don't, I don't know why I'm just not whatever i'm quite when it comes to social media i'm just a bit more i think i'm very cautious about if i ever go on obviously I'm, this is my youtube channel if i ever go on twitter it's to discuss you know a tv show or film i don't really i really kind of keep out of politics i'm just quite a private person who does youtube videos of all things so but i generally like this book as well though um lizzie kelk I, I love the kind of way it shows kind of the other side of the kind of social media sphere. I mean, people go on Instagram, they send a tweet out, they, but that kind of goes into what kind of it is basically the whole kind of marketing behind it, building a brand, building yourself up. I, mean, I remember years ago, I went to an event, um, not, I actually was again with Marie Claire, about how to get into publishing, how to have your work published. And this publishing executive said straight away, Unless you have a social media presence, okay, unless you're out there already by a blog or whatever, you, you won't get signed up, okay? You've got to be on social media before. Basically, you've got to sell yourself first before they will sell you as an author. And that kind of kind of bothered me because what if you're like a kind of introvert, like, like, like I am? I mean, you know, I've got to be a brand before I could ever have a book published. But that's the reality, sadly. And that is also quite mentioned quite a bit in this book because Dr. Samuel Page, who loves to be called Samuel, but everyone keeps calling him Sam to the Vavy, and is kind of like my friends call me Sam, is kind of resigned to it because Ali character, Annie Higgins, her job is to mould this guy into becoming Instagram famous with a Instagram page called The Hip Historian, okay? But let me, let me just start, okay? This is Annie's um, situation, okay? There you go. It is when, okay, she's having the kind of argument with the guys opposite, okay? This bit here. This is when the bet is made. This is page 38. It kind of flows in quite quickly, okay? And Annie's in a bit of a bad state anyway because her ex-boyfriend proposed to this other girl at a football match because it was like a wealth fact and she's feeling a bit down at the time. Pick anyone in this room, I declare, and I will make them Instagram famous in 30 days. Are you sure about this, Miranda, her colleague said, as Martin got up to drag an extra chair over to our table. You're not working yourself to the bone. It's nothing I apply with determination. I could do this in my sleep. With these measurables, Miranda says, scribbling down some numbers, there are roughly 20 million Instagram accounts in the UK and the average user over the age of 20 has 300 followers. That doesn't sound like a lot, Charlie said, as he put up the app on his own phone. Even I've got over 900. And you own your own advertising agency, she replied shortly. Yeah, 
So, and there's also this thing I've always found with Instagram, and why people perceive Instagram, it's like people who are a bit judgmental about so, like, social media. It's like, oh, well, he can't be that popular. He's only got so many thousand Instagram followers. It's kind of like, who cares? I'm going to be dismissive of care of people who aren't on Instagram or social media a lot more than me. Or not their brand. But I'm, you know, I, I, I always struggle to see how social media can be used as a benchmark for your own popularity. Okay? Just because someone follows you doesn't mean they know you. Okay? It's kind of like, my nephew was looking at my Facebook. And he said, like, you only have about 100 people on Facebook. And it's like, yeah, and the difference is I know all of them. I actually know these people. They're my friends in real life as well as on Facebook. I've met them physically, got to know them. So, anyway, the bet is made, okay? The bet is made, and she goes to meet Dr. Samuel Page, okay? Let's put it here. Right. My hand was still midair when the door opened. This tall, skinny man had tied his back, his long hair in a man bun. His beard was still enormous and not in a cool hipster way. And though it was huge, it completely failed to disguise the annoyance on his face. Right, so yeah, she meets Sam, and Sam doesn't, Sam's not aesthetically pleasing, he's quite lazy with how he is, he doesn't care about people, how he looks, people think of him. He's writing very academic books here, but kind of specialist subjects, and they're not really selling that well. And it kind of does, kind of harms, okay, how the kind of the good of social media, how it can build your brand. With his Instagram account, The Hip Historian, and they're all his, no one can ever see his face, I know what he looks like. It starts building up his own brand and getting recognised more. So it shows the positive side as well as the negative side too. Okay? Well, the Sam is a bit down in the dumps, or Dr. Samuel Page, okay? Um, he's a bit down in the dumps because he's got issues with his girlfriend, okay? And this bit here, this is when um, Annie basically says, I'm going to help you get back alone because I'm having some issues, okay? Because Sam is kind of stuck in his ways. Dr. Samuel Page, today is a lucky day. I'm going to help you, I said. As of right now, you are enrolled in the Annie Higgins School of Better Boyfriends, a natural flourish, a boyfriend boot camp. If you will, I'm going to teach you how to be the best bloody boyfriend on the face of the earth. By the time we finish, Elaine will be back from the ho holiday. And you'll be a living embodiment of her perfect man. Okay? So basically, she creates the perfect man. And uh, she kind of strips Sam back. And, and also, one thing that this book kind of shows is... Sam's quite, he's living nice, Samuel's in quite a nice state of life, and Anne's got issues with her own family, and a lot of people can recognise this within the text, their issues, it basically, people don't take Annie seriously because of her job, and they look down on her because of her education, because mm -hmm. her sister's got it all, okay, who, I put this way, okay, this is how pretentious her sister is, okay, right, this is when, um, Alice, her sister, said, I'll take your aunt to show you the treehouse, okay, let me go away when they want to talk about me, Alice said, Alice explained. Um, sorry, I said it's called Rebecca, Alice is her niece. Alice explained, as I heaved myself upstairs into a really lovely nice tree house, two chairs, an iPad, and some lovely cav kits and curtains. So cav kits and curtains. If you find a way to add in a mini fridge and a court screw, I'll be tempted to move in. Yeah, a family treated her bad, they look down on her. Okay, because of her job, because she's not married, she's and everyone is trying, everyone can recognize this character, probably even themselves. Okay, you know, just because okay, I've got the 2.4 children, okay, and a house, and a husband, and the kids, and a tree house. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna look down my nose, okay, on my sister who is actually building up her own business. Like, even though you may not understand that kind of social media marketing, the fact this is people's job in their livelihoods, so okay. So, it has got to know on the other side that how bloody hard it is to become an Instagram famous if that's what you want. If that's what you want, okay? So, it goes with, Sam, with her issues, okay, um, with her family. And then, she, but she's still kind of, kind of turning Sam into the perfect uh, boyfriend. And I, I, okay, Annie is a hypocrite as well. She is the kind of person who says, you're fine as you are. But then we'll turn around, okay, and say, but you're not good enough as this. We're going to make you more excessively pleasing into the Instagram world, okay? Right. This is one, okay, Sam goes, Samuel goes for a trim, and he gets totally transformed. Dr. Page, I pressed my palm against my chest and gasped. You're beautiful. In my absence, a miracle had occurred. Chopping off Sam's long, sad ponytail had been revolutionary. The way it sprung up in loose curls, and even though it had been cut short on the sides, it was long enough on the top for you to really get your hands in there, should you feel so inclined. 
First of all, the beard out had given me nightmares with Ron. His newly shorn stubble drew attention to a full mouth and a good so solid jawline. I had to assume neither seen the light of day in over a decade. I hate it, Sam said, clutching at his discarded ponytail. His blue eyes were angry. I can't believe you did this to me. Well, Sam was happy with the way he looked, but obviously he's not good enough. So basically, and he's going to create the perfect boyfriend, which means changing his hair, clothes, style, and getting to take dart and dancing lessons. But I, I do like the fact, okay, that now, nah, even though I'm going to call out and his hypocrisy here, I like the fact, okay, that it did kind of push Samuel to kind of break down his own barriers in a way, kind of open up to someone. Now, he doesn't really change that much. All he does, okay, is change his clothes and his hairstyle and just cooks a bit. He's still the same person, but he is more opening, which is kind of what, like, what this book needed. What this book needed, okay? And it's one that I absolutely love. And this bit here, this bit here, I want to give a round of applause. This is a surprise party for Annie's dad, okay? And they're basically... Every one member of the family is given Annie crap about her job and her life and she's not man yada yada And this bit here, okay? Right, this bit here. Sam held out his hand expectantly, non toward the dance Sorry to be rude, but well, Sam was searching for the depths of the extensive vocabulary for the rest of the sentence. Truth is, I'm not sure if you realise, but all these people are extremely pleasant. I'm, I'm pleasant. Please excuse us. Yeah. It's really a matter of words. Matter of words. He's got away from that. And one thing I like is this case is that Annie is so focused on work and the job and social media and the social life. She's totally neglected her real life too. She's totally neglected her real life. And I really am pleased that that was explored as well. How a the fact is that it's her life. The moment she's up, she's on social media. The moment she goes to bed, she's on social media. It consumes her life to the point where it's gone. And I like the fact that Annie kind of remembers to see the world how it is. Not through an Instagram filter. I love that. I love that. Okay? Right. So. Yeah, so this is, the story is, you, you know the ending if you know My Fair Lady. Okay? But I like the fact, that, okay, that also the relationship between us, because yes, Elaine turned out to be cheating on um, the boyfriend, um, Samuel. I like the fact that it shows a good and bad side of social media. I like the fact that okay, it showed what it takes to be Instagram famous, if you will, being a hip historian. And I generally did like this book. I liked it. I liked the fact again that Annie is a hypocrite. I liked that about her. And the fact that she learns the error of her ways too. The fact is again she's trying to create the perfect virtual world. She forgets about the real one. I like the fact that, okay, that her family are basically all assholes. And yeah, I generally did enjoy this book. It was a nice summer read. Went a little bit too long, over 400 pages. I could have lost about 50 of them. But... I, I like that. I like the fact, okay, these two people, Annie pretends that she's okay with the situation, but she really needs to let people in. And so does Sam. So, I'm signing off here. Take care, everyone. And bye now.